Well, good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to the MMAP Gallery here at the Arts and Culture Centre in St. John's, Newfoundland. Uh, MMAP, by the way, is the research centre for the study of music, media, and place, the uh, Ethnomusicology Division of Memorial University's School of Music. Uh, there's not many of us here tonight. Uh, we have three musical guests for you, uh, Sherry Ryan, Aaron Collis, and Natasha Blackwood. And I'm also joined in the room here by MMAP staff who are looking after audio and cameras and that sort of thing. Harry Berger down there on one camera, he's the, an MMAP director. Joy Fraser, project coordinator on another camera. And the man in charge of it all, Spencer Crew, digital audio studio coordinator, the man with the big title. And uh, he's the guy we go to for all of our, our technical needs. Uh, we're delighted that you could join us if you're watching on the, on the live stream. Uh, that's great, but it's going to be up on the MMAP YouTube channel so that you can continue to watch it or tell other people about it and they can tune in at a later date. Also want to do a shout out to Eric Escudero, who's our social media uh, producer. And uh, he's monitoring any feedback. If you're on your screen, there should be a sort of a chat uh, icon or something that you can get in touch with us, send us back any, any feedback or anything that you'd like to, uh, like to send us. So without further ado, I will uh, introduce our first, uh, our first performer this evening. Natasha Blackwood is a singer, multi-instrumentalist, and composer based right here in St. John's, Newfoundland. She's well known for her role in the ECMA award-winning ensemble Eastern Owl, and her work as a large ensemble writer for choral and instrumental groups right across Canada. Now you talk about a woman with a sense of timing. You know, Natasha released her debut solo album, Ease Back, on the 14th of March, the very first day of the provincial shutdown. <laughs> but uh, that didn't stop her from making a big splash uh, with, with the album, it's uh, a concept album that explores the stages of grief with lush arrangements, thoughtful poetry, and catchy jazz pop writing. Uh, although the release concert, of course, and subsequent events, like just about all events over the past three or four months, uh, all had to be cancelled, the album was released to critical acclaim and community celebration. Uh, featured heavily on the, some of the radio stations around the city. Her first performance of these songs was a live stream solo concert for the National Arts Center's Hashtag Canada Perform series uh, back in May. And you can catch her again, the St. John's Folk Festival, uh, which is basically doing a, a virtual festival this year, and parts of it are being featured online every weekend throughout the summer. So, uh, so Natasha and her band recorded uh, some stuff for the Folk Festival, and this is upcoming. I'm not exactly sure when it's going to be aired, but I would encourage you to tune in to the Folk Festival uh, website and... Uh, and you can sort that out and catch her later. So without further ado, Natasha, I'd say please welcome. We only have a, what, you can hear the sound of three hands clapping or something in the room. Uh, but we're really delighted to be here with you all tonight. And I'm really delighted to welcome Natasha Blackwood to the stage. All right. Thanks, Jim. Hello to everybody watching at home. Um, so as Jim said, I... I've worked with a lot of different groups, but this is my very first project uh, by myself, which is a very time, strange time to venture off as a solo artist. And all my, there's 94 people on my record. I arranged everything up to the ceiling, and then there's supposed to be 26 people on my album release with a horn section and backup singers and a string section, and that didn't, And then what ended up, I had so many big plans, and what ended up happening is I just play shows by myself. So it was the opposite of what I had planned, but it's been a really, uh, interesting exercise and I'm so grateful for uh, wonderful organizations like MMAP uh, for supporting the arts in this funny time and making things happen even if it's not how we imagine them to happen. So uh, the first song I'm going to play is called Staying Indoors. It's actually not from the record. I, I wrote it recently um, and it was, kind of, it was kind of about my songs are unapologetically feminist and if we were in a concert hall some people would go woo! So I'll just imagine I heard it. Um, and it's kind of about, you know, I had all these plans and they got cancelled and I was home with my kids and feeling sorry for myself. And then my sister, who's a nurse in public health, um, had to go to work and couldn't be home with her kids. And so we were both kind of uh, sulking in different ways. So this is a song about uh, staying indoors. <laughs> Well, 
Welcome to Groundhog Day I'll see you here tomorrow It's not some game they play And you can't beg, steal, or borrow There's no other way Hands are tied and bad news are coming And when they lock the door Stand up in our windows humming Saturday or Tuesday, Saturday or Tuesday, what day is it? Oh, it's your birthday, darling, I wish that I could visit 12 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and we're still thumb-tap talking I don't have company TBS if I'm still watching Yes, I am, yes, I am And we're complicated people Saving up, stocking up, cleaning up, burying the hatchet A quarter man says I can't come up with the homeschool fundamentals I'm sorry that you're working, I heard that you're essential Yes, you are, yes, you are And we're complicated people As Jim mentioned, I, most of my songs are about sad things. Uh, my album is about grief. And I, um, I guess I want to dedicate this song to, there's this amazing woman um, named LaDawn Whalen, and she started this campaign for better women's health services, especially with uh, in terms to uh, fertility and family struggles in Newfoundland. And... Um, it's this amazing thing that's happening, and they're really, you know, as somebody who's been there, there it really is a big gap in the system uh, for women's health. So um, this song is particularly about how people approach uh, women with in questions about how many kids they're going to have, and when, and how, how, and with who, and why, and uh, in really casual environments, like at the grocery store, when it's not always a, an easy conversation for a lot. So I wanted to send this song out to the amazing women of that movement, especially the Dawn. And this is called Small Talk. Tell you and break your heart, but you'll probably. 
but oh, what she's lost. Miss the warning, pay the cost. If she goes on with the show, snap one more for the socials and make her body small talk and just make a loss your chat louder for the people in the back who wanna ask her on the way out. Where's your baby? Where's your man? Tell me all your plans. Don't be sitting on your hands when you know that time's a ticking. Aren't you wishing you could settle down, settle down, settle, settle down, settle down, settle, settle down, settle, settle rest your very bones, settle down, settle down, settle, Love it. Thank you so much. Um, so I've got one more song for you. And um, this one is about just missing people, I guess. So, and then I'll pass it on to somebody else. So thanks again for having me. Um, my album is called East Back. And it's down at Fred's and it's on Apple Music and Spotify and all the places that you can find music. And it's a lot more than just me. If you want to hear violins and strings and horns and stuff, Check it out. All right. So this is a song called uh, What I'd Give. I'm 
my mouth won't speak in my heart I won't be just to have you And everything I know and everything I own Everything I owe What I give Alright, thank you so much, I'm Mep. Now, uh, something completely different for you now. Uh, really, uh, really pleased to introduce this next person because I've known him for donkey's years, really. In fact, the first time I recall meeting him was uh, at the community hall in Appleton in central Newfoundland when myself and Fergus O'Byrne were playing up there and somebody told us about this great accordion player, but he was only 12 or 13 years old or something at the time. So we got him up on the stage to play with us. And since then, Aaron Collis has really gone on to be uh, one of the leading lights in the Newfoundland traditional music scene, particularly as an, an accordion player and a singer. And uh, really pleased to have him here tonight, a multi-instrumentalist, singer from Appleton. Uh, Aaron is known as one of the finest exponents of the island's rich tradition of button accordion playing. His repertoire of music, unique to central and northeastern Newfoundland in particular, as well as virtuoso playing, has uh, quickly gained him a reputation as one of the province's outstanding interpreters of traditional music. Uh, Aaron's uh, been really busy over this last number of years. He's brought the music of his home province to stages throughout North America, the UK, Ireland, Australia, uh, and the Caribbean as a member of the award-winning bands Rum Ragged and the Dardanelles. And uh, of course, with the shutdown and not doing so much per performing, he's uh, currently compiling a book of uh, traditional Newfoundland accordion tunes from all over the province, from Newfoundland and Labrador. So uh, let's hear it for Aaron Collis. I know there's probably a few hands watching, but it feels like we're here just having a little kitchen party or something. We're just... <laughs> so I'm not half as nervous as I probably should be. <laughs> I'll start off now with uh, a few fiddle tunes from one of the fathers of Newfoundland fiddle, Emil Benoit. And uh, he wrote a bunch of great tunes. And I think between him and Rufus Ginchard, you'd have the majority of uh, the best Newfoundland fiddle tunes covered. So the first one is actually, it's a strange title, it's called The Washroom Reel. And now Emil was a bit of a character, and I think he claimed that he wrote this in the washroom. So if, if, if only it was so easy, right? But uh, and the second one is a version he had of a, an Irish reel called The Woman of the House. And the third tune is one he wrote for Clyde Wells, a former premier of the province. Clyde Wells' Dream is called. Thank you. 
Thank you. Moving a bit here, I'm going to try a song now. From, uh, I spent a bit of time around Boyd's Cove and Fog Island growing up. And uh, in particular, I spent a bit of time at the Brimstone Head Festival out in Fogo. There was an organiser out there named Pat Donahue. And he knew I was into the old music and he gave me a tape of uh, one of the past festivals in the 90s, I believe it was. And I don't know who the singer was for this next song, but it's a song now called Alone in His Workshop. And it's all about being happy with your lot in life, I guess, because uh, no matter how good it seems that someone else has it, you don't really know for sure. So. Shop, a young toiler there. His toes all around him sat down in despair. A rich man lives yonder, he mournfully cried, while his wife, kind and patient, drew near him and sighed. Don't sigh for the things that are not yours. Don't tell fate what to do. Don't envy those who seem to be far better off than you. For we'll all be judged by what we have done and not by what we own. Be satisfied with what you've got. Be well enough alone. Alone in his mansion, a millionaire's side. My wife wed me only for money, he cried. Though I give my daughters the riches of queens, I can tell my darlings what a mother's love means. The look in his eye tells a tale of despair. How quickly he changed with the workman down there. And just at that moment, the workman's wife said, Come, John, kiss the babies, they're going to bed. Don't sigh for the things that are not yours. Don't tell fate what to do. Don't envy those who seem to be far better off than you. For we'll all be judged by what we have done and not by what we own. Be satisfied with what you have. Be well enough alone. Song from Fogo Island. Thank you, everybody. All right, I'll clue up my portion of the evening now. Uh, do a few doubles now from uh, Boyd's Cove and Fogo. So unfortunately, uh, the first two don't have names because uh, I was lucky enough to get the tunes, I guess. But uh, the first was from a player named Bill Martin from Boyd's Cove, and I got that from an old kitchen party tape. And uh, the second is from a player named Harry Everly. From, uh, from Fogo Island. And then the last one is called the Tilting Harbor Closing. And the closing was the last part of a, of a square dance. So I figured that's a good spot to leave it here for this evening.
Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of the show. Appreciate it. But her instantly recognizable voice radiates on this Newfoundland classic in the making. So you're setting it up. <laughs> and the rest of Wreck House is no exception. So it's a fantastic album. Uh, hers is definitely a voice you pay attention to. So all of you great applause makers here in the room, <laughs> let's have a big welcome for Sherry Ryan. Thank you, Jim. I'm going to start with a couple of songs I've written over the past few months. Um, if you brought me over a capo, I would definitely do that request after as well. <laughs> Only a tuner and a cable. Uh, this is a song, um, well, I haven't had much opportunity to explain these songs because I've been singing them home alone. Um, it's a it's a hurt and love song about how I don't want to write songs about hurt and love anymore, basically. And uh, and then halfway through the getting into the second verse, I guess it started to turn into more of a song about singing singing about what I want instead of what I don't want. So more or less, I guess it's a setting an intention, and what better way to set an intention than to sing a song about it? It's called uh, Any Other Way. This what I was meant to do Write lonely, heartbroken songs For you to cry and sing along To all the things that I've done wrong To think about it hurts somehow But I guess it's what I do best now That's what's coming through Maybe I could bring about a life I dream about Without a doubt I'm almost halfway there It's got a big countryside A river runs down to the tide I've been sitting by your side for years I don't know if it's right or not It's my first time Or so I thought And I believe in more every day I don't see that also uh, came, around, came up when uh, everything was suddenly shut down and my calendar was completely cleaned out and my to-do list was 
gone. I love my lists. Uh, and this song uh, came up, and um, I guess uh, it's about how much you can keep yourself busy really doing nothing. <laughs> um, just to avoid things and uh, I, I don't really know how to explain this song but I'm just going to sing it it's called um, Get Down On It also the title of a Cool in the Gang song <laughs> it just sounds nothing like that Had to isolate, had a life to face, to do list ended, time suspended. You wipe your face to an empty plate and feed what's been lost. There's an empty space, but you hesitate. You could jump on, bump a bump on what you feel inside. Is the only guy you can be it when you're free. I was on the fence between two songs about my dad. Uh, um, that my dad passed away four years ago today, actually. And uh, so uh, this is a special one for me because uh, we wrote this together. And uh, in the late 50s, when he started working at the railway, um, my father, Jim Ryan, went to um, St. Andrews and was working over there in the rec house area and he got a call from Lockie McDougall but he didn't know who Lockie McDougall was or that there even was a, a guy there who um, was in charge of uh, stopping the trains when things that got to, when the wind, wind came up because the trains were blown off the track over there when it got really windy. So one day he was there by himself and a uh, phone rang and it was a direct line to the station on um, a bell crank phone and uh, he knew it was important, but he couldn't quite make out what he was saying. He thought it was stop the train, which also sounded very important because he was uh, the operator at the time. And so we called Bishop's Falls and they said, yeah, that's Lockie McDougall. You got to stop the train. So we, uh, 
I, w I was working on this and I asked him some questions about the whole time that he was there and uh, he told me about how when the mainland came and took over the railway and found out that Lockheed McDougall was uh, making the call on that and they said, we don't need you anymore, we're going to uh, do this on our own and rely on the forecast and then the winds picked up and blew a train off the track and then they hired Lockheed back to stay for the rest of his life as the wind sniffer, as they called him. And um, so I was almost finished the song, but I didn't have the last line to the chorus. And uh, so I went to dad and he had been listening to it all along. And I said, I just need one more line and it has to rhyme with pass. And he said, hold the trains in Riverview and pour the Basque. And it was that easy for him. So uh, we made a video for this at the Railway Museum and you can get it online. It's called Stop the Trains. So you can sing along at home. And here, I suppose. I played it on Zoom a couple of times, but the delay gets you every time. And thanks to Jim and all the crowd here and the crew for putting this together. It's so nice to get an invite to come do a show at this time. Thank you so much. It was 1957 or 58, I'd say. When a call came on the crank phone with a message to relay, southeast winds were baffling down the mountain range. I knew nothing of the winds out there, and I was all alone. I could hardly hear the stranger crackling on the phone. It was lucky. To go the human weather vane, direct line to the station telling me to stop the train, stop the train from going down the track. Rock house winds are blowing and they're blowing mighty fast. Stop the train, you don't want to let them pass. Hold them at Riverview and pull the back. gonna change when he'd call the station it was time to stop the trains many an hour passed before he'd let him go again stop the trains from going down the track wreck house winds are blowing and they're blowing mighty fast stop the trains you don't want to let them pass Hold them at Riverview and pour the bath. A highfalutin' manager came in the town one day. He said one man's authority should never stop a train. All right. Well, thank you very much, Sherry. That was brilliant. I'm so glad you played that song. It's such a, a, such a classic. Um, I'm going to play one song to actually wrap it up here tonight. But before I do that, I want to say a great big thank you to the three guests we've had here tonight. Sherry Ryan, who you just heard, Aaron Collis, Natasha Blackwell. It's really just a sample of all the great talent and the great music that is available for you to listen to here in Newfoundland and Labrador. 
And of course, uh, you know, with conditions the way they are, our opportunities obviously are, are, are quite a bit limited now to be able to get out and, uh, and see and, and, and hear such music. So I want to say a huge thank you to MMAP uh, for putting off this special event to make it available to you folks out there who are listening tonight or watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, whether you're watching it live or whether you tune into it later, and, uh, and I'm sure you will, uh, will enjoy it. So I'm just going to run through the names again. Eric, you're out there somewhere. I haven't seen you tonight, but you're monitoring the social media, so that's great. Uh, thanks very much for that. Say thanks to Joy Fraser over here on one camera, uh, director uh, Harry Berger down here on another, and uh, the, the, the king, I call him the king of MMAP here, Spencer Crew. He makes it all happen. He's the digital audio studio coordinator. That's a brilliant title. I love that. So, uh, so thank you very much for tuning in. I'll throw away my notes. And, uh, you know, this whole business with the public health crisis and uh, COVID-19, it caught us all a bit uh, unawares. And this is a song I wrote back, I think, probably early in May when we really... Um, you know, it was sort of took a good part of April before we really realized what we were, what we were dealing with here and, and just how serious it was and how much of an effect it was going to have on us, how much it was really going to change the way we, we lived and interacted with one another. And uh, for all of, the, all of the pictures on TV about, you know, people on the front lines, the people, healthcare workers, and what they were dealing with in the hospitals, but then all the other people who really just kept things rolling when uh, many of the rest of us were, were kind of holed up at home uh, and trying to uh, come to terms with the, cha the great changes in our, our lives. So I wrote this song. You've, you've heard a lot being said about uh, the people on the front line, front line workers, and the people working in supermarkets and firemen, police, the whole, the whole shebang and uh, what they all do. There's a, a flashing light out here on the Arts and Culture Center's uh, sign saying, thank you, front line workers. And this is a song uh, that I wrote uh, just around that issue. So thanks very much. I've mentioned all the folks who are here. My name is Jim Payne. My pleasure to, to host it uh, for you tonight. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, hopefully we'll do another one of these before too long. This is a song called Hats Off. Suddenly life as we know it has changed. Shut down pandemic. It's all a bit strange And the people that we barely notice each day Are now among those who are leading the way Hats off to the heroes who carry the load And all of the workers who walk the long road Thanks a million, God love you We're grateful to you Yes, we're ever so thankful for all that you do Now in the crisis, they're on the front line Helping us, hopefully, one at a time It's stressful and worrisome to be in the thick of it Praying you won't make your own family sick Hats off to the heroes who carry the load And all of the workers who walk the long road Thanks a million, God love you, we're grateful to you Yes, we're ever so thankful for all that you do If you work in a hospital, I wish you good health in a shop or a store, may you share in the wealth. If you pick up the garbage, may you smell like a rose and get good results from the swab up your nose. Hats off to the heroes who carry the load and all of the workers who walk the long road. Thanks a million. God love you, we're grateful to you, yes, we're ever so thankful for all that you do. May the firefighter not see so much as a spark, nor police have to chase down a crook after dark. 
May you safely return to your homes without fail With the posties who bring us the checks in the mail Hats off to the heroes who carry the load And all of the workers who walk the long road Thanks a million, God love ya, we're grateful to you Yes, we're ever so thankful for all that you do So if you're out and about, do your best to be kind to those working to help us get through the hard times. We all share the burden, the hopes and the fears, so remember them daily in all of your prayers. Hats off to the heroes who carry the load. And all of the workers who walk the long road Thanks a million, God love ya, we're grateful to you Yes, we're ever so thankful for all that you do We're ever so thankful for all that you do Thank you very much, stay safe everyone See you again, take care